Dealing with difficult people can be very hard. We encounter rude, mean, judgmental, you know, just a mean and outright wrong people on a daily basis. So, as a continuation from last week's video, I thought it would be a great idea if I share with you five verses that we get from scripture straight from the word of God on how to deal with difficult people. So next time when you deal with someone who's difficult, you can just turn to scripture and meditate on it and hopefully it will make your day better. Without any further ado, let's get into this video. Hi hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today is a continuation of the video we made last day, last week. I just felt led to share the scriptures with you on how to really deal with difficult people. I think the enemy tried me this week at work <laughs> and I really had to show up, like represent the kingdom in a good way without letting the flesh get the best of me but we thank god that uh, there was no yelling or anything of that nature <laughs> anyways let's get into the first uh, verse the first verse says that uh, is from matthew 5 verse 44 it says love your enemies and pray for those who persecute you i feel like this verse is one of the hardest verse that we have to put into practicality because we find it very easy to pray for those who we love and we care for. But when it comes to praying for our enemies and those people who persecute us and those people we know they are after us, it's quite difficult to let the flesh die and do the will of God. So when someone tries you next time, just pray for them instead of being in a word battle with them so the second verse that i want to share is from romans 12 verse 19 it says that beloved never avenge yourselves but leave it to the wrath of god for it is written vengeance is mine i will repay says the lord this is another verse that also like the first one i feel like it's quite hard to accept and to also put into practice because most of the time we want to take over our lives we want to do things by ourselves and just deal with the person the way we want to deal with them however the word of god tells us that it is not for us to avenge it is not for us to avenge for what we need to do like the first verse says we need to pray for them and just leave everything into God's hand. Surrender the person who hurt you, who is being difficult to you. Just surrender them into the hands of God and let God deal with them. How about you start praying for them and asking God that he changes his or her heart into a way or into a way that there'll be harmony amongst you too, right? So the third verse that I wanted to share is Luke 22, verse 34. It says that, And Jesus said, Father, forgive them, for they know not what they do. If you don't know where the scripture comes from, it takes place when uh, Jesus was being crucified okay i want you i want you to get the background here jesus is being crucified on the cross for our sins and while he is there while they are beating him crucifying him spitting on him every bad thing you can ever think of he says the unthinkable he says father forgive them for they know not what they do how many of us can, confident, can confidently say that 
when someone is doing something bad to us, our first resort is to go to our father. I can be the first to agree that sometimes I do let the flesh get the best of me and I forget to run to the father. So this is a scripture that will be a reminder for all of us to say that whenever someone does something bad to us, we should forgive. We should ask God to forgive us. Even in our father prayer, Jesus says to forgive them, uh, forgive us our trespass, trespass, our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. Yes, that's what Jesus said. Forgiveness is a whole part of dealing with these people, reminding ourselves that we are no better than they are because we've all fallen short of God's glory. The second last one, number four, it says, A soft answer turns away wrath, but a harsh word stirs up anger. This is found in Proverbs 15 verse 1. If you haven't gotten a chance to go through the Proverbs, please, I beg you, I beg you, read the Proverbs. Read the Proverbs. You'll be convicted in a good way. You'll be convicted. It's not about condemning you. It's about convicting you of knowing God's truth and what you need to know and how to live right in the sight of God. So this scripture reminds us that whenever someone says something, that is bad or someone saying does something to us that is bad we need to choose a soft answer because a soft answer turns away wrath i've been in instances where i chose to listen to the flesh and give a rude answer and that turned into a fight not a physical one you know uh, a tongue fight <laughs> a tongue fight and that never ends well but how about Today, we choose to give out a soft answer every time, literally, every time someone says something bad to us and we want to fight back. Let's remember, a soft answer turns away wrath. The last one is found on Romans 12 verse 18. It says that, if possible, so far as it depends on you, live peacefully with all i love it where it's a as far as it depends on you if it's a situation that you are holding like literally the outcome depends on what you say or what you do let's try to live peacefully with all this is what our lord and savior is calling us to do to live peacefully with all as far as it depends on you, let's make it our priority to live out the word of God. I'm really grateful for God and revealing all these scriptures to us and sharing these scriptures to us. And I hope that these scriptures will not only just be scriptures that you read or hear and you just pass them by. I just pray that you will take time to really meditate on each and every scripture that I shared today. I hope that it maybe you can just take one scripture and meditate on it and make sure every time you deal with someone uh, difficult or negative, you lean on that word. Whatever word that it may be, make sure you lean on that word and remember that vengeance is not ours and remember that soft answer turns away wrath you know this situation should uh, push us to christ instead of pulling us away from him so use every opportunity yourself in whether good or bad to bring glory and honor to god and with that i've come to an end of this video remember to like comment share and most importantly subscribe to my channel till next time bye guys